Craig, what's your thoughts on the game and how it all played out? Uh, not well, that's for sure. We come here, you need a few things to uh, go your way and you've got to earn plenty yourself. So um, obviously the start straight off the bat was like a shock. And then I thought we did pretty well there to get back into the contest. We had no field position. Um, you know, they were holding the ball. I don't know what they ended up at, probably 95% or something like that. They were holding the ball turned us around, like we really had to dig in there. And then to go in as close as at half time, I was like, oh, right, I might make a contest of it. Then we come straight out off the bat, penalty on the fifth tackle, first set after half time. I'm not sure we got back off our trial line again. We had one or two shots there, and but we just starved a field position. And, you know, they, they, had, they had an energy about them where they looked like they were running downhill, obviously turn around, freshness, they, they played really well. How frustrating was that second half in particular? As you say, you just couldn't couldn't get out of your defensive end. Uh, yeah, it's, the frustrating part is the it's like the the boys really wanted to do it, but details come apart. Like our last plays, like they just controlled everything off the way their kicking game was. The contests there, not getting our little like the little details involved. Now that cost us a lot of energy. That turning the ball over at the end of their set, and then they get another set, and then you're stuck there again. And then even if you defend it, you got to come off your own line. So we just gave up too much energy off last plays. I thought you got to dust yourself off fairly quickly. Pitch. Yeah. One or two things that you were happy with today. Uh, yeah, the way we got back into it, like you could see that was not going our way at all. Like we're getting nothing, and um, I thought really hung in. There's lots of live ball, lots of end to end footy where the, the wasn't. I wouldn't say end to end. It was their end to our end, but it was um, lots of periods there of hard footy. Um, we'll, we'll get out, we'll get that out of it. But we've got to put the details back into our game and, and under pressure when a team's controlling that. That's that's where we've got to get better at there. Yeah, it's not ideal obviously, but um there's always an opportunity to start again and um yeah that, that happened but I thought after that we um we dug in for a period there but um yeah as as coach said it was it was more just controlling those finishes. We just didn't apply it, the pressure back on them so um, yeah not ideal to start that way but it happens we just got to react to it better. Christian mentioned picking yourself up now and dusting yourself off for next week is that gonna be, you know, how hard is that going to be given the nature of this result? No not hard at all there's there's a massive opportunity ahead of us and um, yeah everything's there it, yeah you, you obviously want to win and and go the uh, shorter route there but yeah, it's we, you know teams are killed to be here, so yeah, no um no complacency or no no down negative energy. It's, you mentioned the Storms kicking game. Uh, like obviously you probably had a plan for Jerome Hughes, but did you feel like you put enough pressure on him? It's pretty hard when you're on the back foot the whole time, and they've got most of the possession and field position, and at the end of the set, so they were coming onto the ball there. So yeah, of course you have a plan, but we uh, we couldn't get it done because they were in control of that. Harry Grant, obviously, you know, such a danger and such a light wire out of dummy half. I guess, you know, seemed to, well, obviously, did a lot of damage to your side. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's a great player. I mean, just waited the game out until the moment suited him and then, yeah, started to come into play and made it harder. Um, but again, it's that that was the culmination of their, their control of the game, I thought. That's when they come to the party. And she spoke about respect this week and this team not getting enough respect for what you've done. How do you sort of, how do you think the reaction to that would be given the performance tonight, given the... And I don't, I don't think I said that at all, really. I just said, um, the only thing I said was, you know, respect's earned. It's not a gift. No one gives it to you. And I said, all we've earned, which was the end of the season, was an opportunity um, to be in the top four. That's the only respect we've earned. And then I also said that we have to earn it on this stage. So that was all I was saying. So was that disappointing then to, yeah. after that? Yeah, of course, mate, of course. You know, we wanted to come down. Oh, that's, that was the, the most disappointing thing was I thought we were getting back into it. thought we were really starting to go for it. And then, yeah, little details come apart. But again, you know, it was always going to be a challenge, wouldn't it, coming here against them and the way they're playing and, um, and you know, the situation we're in was going to be difficult. And we knew that and we made it probably a little bit harder than it had to be.
Are you worried about uh, whether Sione Katoa can back up? So he took a shot in his hip and mm. like only played out, but it looked like it was a pretty painful one. Yeah, not sure yet. Um, I have to check the medical guys. I haven't had enough time to do that yet. Yeah. Do you want Jesse Rainey in back fit? Um, yeah, he'd be a chance. Yeah, he'd be a chance, I reckon. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, it depends how he heals. He's, um, he'd be a good chance, I reckon. There was some confusion about whether one of his players was put on the court. Was Britain a court put on the court? Uh, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure.